Right, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel today. <laughs> so um, today I have a lipstick swatch video for you guys. I recently just got them in the mail um, yesterday and I thought I should just quickly share because, because I don't see a lot of English speaking um, like review or like swatch for this particular brand um, and yeah so I'm really interested so I actually just purchased them and hope you guys enjoy it so let's get started right so this is the brand from Korea I'm not sure if you guys have seen it but this is from Hints right so um, they have um, matte version and they are sheer and a kind of like a chic product but I didn't get them so um yeah, they are quite pricey. Um, I'm not sure how much is it in Korean won. If I can check that out, um, I will put it in the description bar below. However, I paid to the seven fifty for each of them, and honestly, I think they are quite pricey because Mac lipstick is thirty three dollars in Singapore. They are twenty seven fifty, um, and yeah, for Korean brands, I'm not sure if I wanted to spend so much money. Um, so yeah, but I really like. Um, how it looked so I you know bite the bullet and I bit the bullet and try it and order it so um yeah so um let's get started so the first one I got I'm not sure but I'm sure you guys can see like can you guys see I'm pretty sure this one is the older version because this is the, the, the newest and yeah sticker looks like that and all of them looks like this except for this one so I'm pretty like bumped about it but this is the color in flare so maybe probably let's go through the matte ones first um and yeah and see how it goes so okay i'm going to start from the lightest to the darkest i have one color that i really really like which is soft demand but i didn't purchase it because it's more of like a color that it's like a mid-toned rose coral color um and i thought i have a lot of lipstick that like in the color spectrum so I didn't purchase it I purchased a few like lighter ones and a few like unique colors so yeah let's start with the first one this is Allure which is I think the color that they were strongly advertising for so first when you open up their lipstick looks like this so they have this like beautiful aesthetic to it so it looks like this all right and then when you take it off Okay, this is how the lipstick looks like. They have this like hitched embossed in it. And it looks like that. Really, really nice. And from the look of it, it reminds me a lot of the Bobbi Brown Matte Lux. Like, look at it. This two colors. Doesn't it look the same? So this one might be a little, a little bit more plummy. And this one looks a bit more like lighter as compared. You see the texture reminds me of it too, right? So yeah, we should try it. So um, I'm gonna try it on my <laughs> on my lips, and we shall see. I'm not sure if I wanted to destroy the H embossment. I'm not sure. Oh, what should I do? Should I should I? Uh -huh, I don't know what to do. Right. So I'm just gonna remove my lipstick, and then we shall get on with it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this to just mask the colour. Yep, like that. And then I'm going to try it now. <laughs> Here we go. Mm, okay. Mm. It feels very smooth. That's for sure. Mm, I don't really like the smell. It smells a little plasticky. But it has a bit more sleep um, than the other lipstick. It's not as drying. It's very similar to the Three Concept Eyes lip product, like the Mood Recipe. But that one's more like a drier formula. This one feels better. So this is how Allure looks like up close. On full as well. Um... I think this color is a very nice like nude for me but I think if you want to pair this lipstick you probably will have to pair it a little bit um, 
with a heavier eye makeup or heavier blush to make it pop a little bit better yeah but I like it so far and it kind of actually makes your lids the lines look softer I'm not sure if you guys can tell yeah I kind of like it mm -hmm. yep and then I'm gonna remove this and then try the next color next is timeless and all this lipstick, the moment you use it, you have to finish using them in 18 months, which I think it's a bump. Like, maybe they will turn bad. So this is timeless. It's, it's quite true to colour. Less intense in a camera, I can see. In real life, it's more kind of less muted. But it's quite intense as well. It's like a... Like... A... Peachy... Coral, kind of summer type of colour. And then full on This is it Hmm I think I like this one It looks good It makes my lips look bigger too So this one, the formula is also very similar to the previous one Quite consistent I would say Mm -hmm. I like it, I think it looks good This one makes me feel like I look a little bit better Like I feel like it's more lively, it looks like it's dead mm. I like it So this is timeless Actually I honestly thought that the colours will be a little bit much more lighter than it is But I'm quite, I'm quite liking the way it is because when you kind of sheer out um, the pigmentation instantly becomes so much lighter like you actually have a different colour from it, it's different you know like some when you shade it out yes it's less pigmented but the heaviness of the colour like how um, dark the colour is is still like that but this one when you shade it out it really looks like it's a very very pale nude and when you deepen it it looks like the extra colour of the bullet so I'm really surprised by that next we have Inspiration so Inspiration is a colour that I would I think it's very similar to my Bobbi Brown lipstick. I think this one reminds me a lot of this one. Like honestly, I think they look really really similar. So yeah, and this one was this one is always out of stock, so mm, I like it. I actually prefer this one better than the Bobbi Brown now because Bobbi Brown, that lipstick oxidizes. And when it oxidizes, it gets pretty dark. And it makes me look a little bit old. So this one is timeless. Oh no, this is not timeless, this is inspiration. Yes. Mm, this is a very nice color. It's darker than Allure, but it looks definitely better because it gives me more life. Um, but it definitely makes me look a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more mature. But I like it. And it feels really good. Mm, it's really, really matte as well. I like it. So this is inspiration. And then last, from the matte line, is this one. This one is Flare. Which is deemed as a like a brown deep color, like brown brick color. It's very unique. So I thought like I should try it. Yep. Actually I really wanted to try. Let me just try this in the inner parts of the lips just to see how it kind of looks like. Ooh. I like it. I like how it turns out. Like I like when I mix them together. It gives more depth and it makes me look whiter, like more fair. Hmm, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna remove it. I'm gonna remove it and then we should try and see this color in its full. <sighs> so, same thing. Where is my sponge? No, I don't know where's my sponge. Oh, right, let's 
Keep going. They're pretty soft, pretty smooth as well. So this high looks like when you do it a little bit like a radiant lip. And then This one because it's darker, it kind of grips to your dry skin a little bit more. But I think it looks good. So this is flare. I think this one looks really good. It's a very unique color, I like it. From the camera, it looks a little bit more like a brick, like ox black type of color. In the camera, I think it looks a little bit like that, but a little bit more red. So a little more like crimson kind of color, like dark crimson color, but I like it. So this one is flare. I like it. Mm. Yeah, but I'm gonna try using a little bit of allure on the outer corner, like outer portion to see if I can get the the gradient mm -hmm. I think I like it like this way a little bit softer but a little bit fuller as well mm, I like it love it okay so next we are going to the last color that I have but this one is from the Mood Enhancer Sheer Line this one the color I got is in the moment because they only have like five colors and a lot of the colors I don't think they suit me like to my liking this one is very purplish in color with a lot of reflex like glitter um, I wanted to get that but I know for myself that if I wanted a dark colored lip firstly dark color is not dark colored lipstick are not my kind of thing um, and especially if it's glossy it's even more like hey so this one is in the moment, it's the nudiest color, but I kind of like it, so it looks like this. So immediately you can see the difference, the lipstick bullet is glossy. And maybe this one, I don't know, should I try? <laughs> ah, hmm, this one smells funny. But they don't have any scent to it, but the taste of it looks like tastes very similar to a MAC lipstick that you have for quite a long time. <laughs> the type of like plasticky scent. Yeah, but this is the color. But it's very smooth. Mm. But it doesn't have a lot of like, the white base in it, so it doesn't kind of build up all around it. But it can color a lot of the pigmentation that my lips have. And I think this is a very nice like everyday color. Um, like for work, um, for interviews, for meeting up with friends, and you don't want to have any fuss. Like you just want to be really easy to touch up. I think this is the cup of color that you should get. It makes my lips look really full as well. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think that this lipstick line makes my lips look really full. Um, or is it because that I have been removing makeup, it makes my lips really soft. So um, it's like enhanced. <laughs> but yeah, so this is in the moment. And yeah, these are the, the all five lipsticks that I have to do to share with you guys. So if you guys enjoyed the swatches and I will leave a um, probably like video or like a summary of all the colors to place together for you guys at the end of the video. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram if you like. All the details will be down below. Yeah, I think my favorite color has to be um, inspiration and flair. I think these two colors are really unique and it really makes, um, I don't know, it looks the best on me. And then if you're talking about um, something more glossy, I think in the moment is the best color because this one's really like a everyday type of color that gives you type of like life to the face, um, doesn't wash you out and it's very comfortable as well. And I think um, it's the right amount of shine, not too shiny, not too um, matte. So yeah, so if you guys are wondering um, and quite curious about this brand, I'm, I'm, I think you guys can order one or two to try. Uh, but do know that they are scentless and they are... I don't know, it's kind of like weird to have lipstick not have scent, like a little bit of scent would be good. Um, but yeah, I'm not really into the sheer formula that has the type of smell that smell like the lipstick 
a very similar to a MAC lipstick that has not gone bad yet but it's a type of scent that um, you know that it has been there for a while but this one is like a new one because it just released not long ago um, so yeah I'm not a fan of that but um, the matte lipstick without the scent and all that is okay um, doesn't really bother me so yeah so if you guys are still waiting to try I hope this one gives you like a rough guide on um, what colors will be like on my medium skin tone medium medium light skin tone I'm leaning towards more like olive and yellow tone um, so yeah I hope it gives you like a gauge for how it will look like and um, yeah um, for the users of it like whether is it drying or not um, I will put an update down below um, if not if it's really really a good stuff you will probably see it in my favorites video so yeah and yeah so I'll see you guys in the next video bye